house on Yardley. The address is, uh... The Lancaster house. Excuse me? To the Lancaster house. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's Straight right. Straight into town, left at the church, right on second. Yardley. Thank you. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Oh. What's with the Grim Reaper? Yeah, he was weird. But he was also very helpful. He says we're not far from there. This is it? What do you think? Is it home? Tell the truth, but keep in mind we got six months paid in advance in this house. Do you hate it? I've seen this house before. I know this house. Yeah, of course you've seen it before. The realtor sent us a picture to approve. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's go look. A little airing out. Probably hasn't been open in a while. Well, that's a good sign. Power's on. The original house was built in 1672. The only thing that old in L.A. is the ocean. Uh, no phone yet. Can't order pizza. You deal. You bring in a few boxes and I'll go on a fast food run. Leave me alone in this place? Oh, please, no. Anything but that. Are burgers okay? Veggie for me, if you can find one. I think even in Massachusetts I can find a veggie burger. nine lives, but I've got just one. No collar. You have a name? I must be hungry. What's the matter? Oh. I got your tongue. <laughs> I think we have tuna.
Hello? Hello? I've been waiting for you. Hello? No veggie burgers, but I got the next best thing. Chicken! Did you find the plates? I think the phone's working. Yeah? No, not yet. I'll drop by the phone company tomorrow after work. Check on the account. Hungry? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? Being trapped inside a building full of kids that I have absolutely nothing in common with? Honey, you know, if you just wouldn't hide behind those flipper marks, you push people away before they get a chance to know the real you. Face it, Mom, I'm a square peg in a round world. Even the cat deserted me. I probably got a better offer. You'll be fine. We both will. This is our chance at a new life. I'll take 60 song titles for 500, Alex. Babe, that seat's reserved. I should have posted a sign. I don't need a sign. Everyone knows where I sit, my girlfriend Debbie sits. She expects it. Get over yourself. Maybe you didn't hear me. She heard you, Kev. She just didn't care. Deb can take that seat over there, okay? Seat over there, okay? Hi, I'm Eric Garrett. You're new. Palm reading. You into this? I'm into a lot of things. It's a big world. Yeah, stuff's just stuff, though, right? I mean, you can't tell about a person just by looking at his palm. Can you? I'd say you're a jock. Probably football. And this line right here, this says you probably drive a tricked out, jacked up SUV. Creepy. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> where are you from anyway? A distant land called California. And uh, how'd you know all that stuff? Read the book. <clears throat> Eric? Did you forget you were supposed to pick me up? It was this morning. Sorry. I had a lot on my mind. 
So I see. Sorry, Mr. Rankin. Okay. We get down to business, everyone. <clears throat> Today, you'll note that we have a new student, Miss Sarah Zoltane. I know you'll all make her feel welcome. Freak! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lane. I that. Did you catch the clothes? Can't wait to get a look at her. You're that new one, aren't you? Sarah something? Zoltane. You smoke? Thanks, no. How do you know all that stuff about Eric this morning? I mean, his car, football. <laughs> you didn't buy that hocus pocus thing, did you? I mean, she probably saw him drive up. And the letterman's jacket might be a clue. That was it, wasn't it? I see, I can't put anything past you. The word is you're from Los Angeles. That's right. Well, you know, that doesn't impress us one bit. So tell you what, you stay out of our way and we just might stay out of yours. Do you know smoking causes wrinkles? Attitude. Ah! Misty, put it out! Okay, who tossed their smoke? I was wondering when I was going to get to meet the new girl. Charlie Gorman. Sarah Zoltane. My mom and I just moved here from L.A. Well, that explains the look. Um, I'm from New York, seven years now. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, I could use some incense, actually. The house we're renting has a strange feeling about it. Yeah, sure. Uh, over here. Where are you living? The old house down at 2nd and Yardley. The Lancaster House. That house is kind of a history. You tell. Well, Salem got all the press, but we had a witch of our own. 300 years ago, five men dragged her out of uh, that house and burned her at the stake up at Gallows Point. That's where they used to hang criminals. This is conveniently located right next to your new home suite. Home. That little park? Cool. You're kidding, right? No. And as she went up in flames, she promised to come back from the grave and punish all their descendants one by one. Welcome to Pinecrest. It's a great place to raise kids. Sounds like incense alone might not cut it. Do you have anything in industrial strength? Just the thing. There's a ritual in here uh, to clear the space of any leftover energy. And um, you'll need these candles. I didn't bring enough cash to cover all of that. That's fine, no problem. I mean, you can bring it by tomorrow or, or whenever. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Oh, jeez. Wait, let me help. They don't make paper bags the way they used to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Ted! It's Rosemary Zoltane. You were on the school board interviewing committee. Right, right, right. The new third grade teacher. That's right. Yeah. Hey, I met your daughter today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. She's a, she's a nice kid. Sweet, smart. You sure it was my daughter you met? <laughs> I'm impressed. You've got some real groceries here. <laughs> kind that doesn't come frozen. Fresh meat, vegetables. What do you do with that stuff? I take it you're unfamiliar with the concept of cooking? Yeah. My ex-wife never clued me into the dark secrets of blenders and microwaves. I See. So, how long has it been since you had a home-cooked meal? Oh, a year and a half. Oh, get out. Yeah. It's oh. a lot of drive through Yeah. Well, you know, maybe when I get my kitchen together, you can come over for a meal sometime. Oh. Was that pushy? Oh, no. No. Well, yes. <laughs> but I'd love to. Great. Okay. Thank you for your help.
oh spirits of the world beyond, hear my voice and obey. Stephen King wanted me wrote this stuff. I beseech you to cleanse this house of the sinister forces of darkness. If you can see me, show yourselves. Sinister forces, come on down. Hi, I just came in to say goodnight. What is all this? Oh, I'm clearing the house of bad energy. I see. Okay, well, while you're at it, would you mind doing my room too? Did you know this was a witch's house 300 years ago? Who told you that? Oh, around. Buy some stupid legend. Yeah, well, I suppose every small town has something like that. I saw school today. Oh, the faces of those little third graders are so cute. One of them even brought me an apple for my first day of school. Never too early to learn the fine art of sucking up. When did you get to be such a smart aleck when I wasn't looking? That's when it all happens. Good night, my love. Good <laughs> night, <laughs> <Hi>, Mom. <laughs> What's your name anyway? Ebony? Storm? Something mysterious, maybe. How about Hecuba? Hecuba? Is that a lucky guess or are you just easy? What remained of the witch laid to rest outside the hell ground of old Pinecrest? Her body and bones were ground by night, and her dust laid within her family's sight. Family sight. Beneath the arbor she doth repose, below the bramble and berry rose. Everybody's gotta live somewhere. I suppose so, but there, you wouldn't catch me alone within a mile of that place. Do you remember that in writing? I had a clue. I was just trying to help. Kira, I'm not buying the sincerity angle. Help me what? Um, find chemistry? What? Fit in. If you just dressed a little more like a human being and lost some of that attitude. Look, I just want to get through this year and then find my way back to civilization. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey, Charlie. Fair warning. He's so not a part of the crowd you want to know. Well, maybe that's what I like about him. There you go! <laughs> Smells like he had a kid in here. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You caught me by surprise. Same thing of you. You should. Yeah, I'm fine. You caught me by surprise. Same thing of you. You hated the way I saw that good brew, man, but you know. Damn, look on his face. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Yeah. You have to learn how to take it, Charlie. Otherwise, he's never going to let up, huh? Are there any grown ups in the crowd? Oh. Let's see hands. Somebody call a janitor, clean this up before someone slips. I'll do that, Mr. Rankin. Oh. Always happy to help out. Be the wind, didn't it? Well, did he? It's been exactly 300 years. Almost to the day. Justice. And then this terrible thought hit me like a scud missile. What if Sarah isn't who she seems? Death. Possible if she's who she might be? The fool. 
Then we're the ones who'll pay. The five of us. And we can't jump to conclusions. The devil. We have to be prepared. I mean, look at how she read your palm and the way she dresses. That crystal thing. She's not one of us. Which could mean... She's one of them. Judgment. Alger Hiss was accused in 1948 of supplying Soviet agents with classified documents when he worked in the State Department in the 1930s. What was the outcome of that? He sued for slander but was found guilty of committing perjury in 1950 and sentenced to prison. This was all kind of a precursor to the communist witch hunts which began that year and continued until 1954 in the McCarthy era. Who arranged her life? I mean, a TV series and now her own era? Jenny McCarthy is so there. <laughs> All that talk about witch hunts is so positively X-Files. What's up with that? Well, I know someone who could find out. Eric. I mean, come on. Stevie Wonder could see how she drools over him. How about it, Kira? Feel like sacrificing your boyfriend for the common good? Well, the real curse of Pinecrest is small minds. I mean, anyone the least bit different has to be the, the son of Satan or something. <laughs> By the way, I just got this new CD. It's, um, it's 13th century Tibetan chants. It, uh, it really takes you to another place. Uh, if you like, we could, uh, we could always... Oh, wait, I... Try to kill yourself? Just after a drive. That's your idea of driving? Hey, California girl's meant to drive in style. How about it? Eric, can't you see she's not interested? Sure, let's go. Come on, let me show you the town, huh? What town? Thanks, but I could use the exercise, you know, fresh air and all. Possibly a one-time offer. I'll risk it. Life on the edge, you know? Whatever. Eric's ever heard no before. You are really something. <laughs> Don't give me so much credit. I came this close to taking him up on it. You ever wonder what it's like to be in the in-group? Sarah, being in the in-group is no big deal. If you have the right ancestors, you can even get into groups you don't want to be in. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Forget it. Open mouth, insert foot. Hey, you going somewhere? Yeah, got a teacher's meeting in a half an hour. Also, Ted Rankin's asked me out for a bite afterwards, so. As in my history teacher? Tell me you're joking. Should I have cleared this with you first? Hey, it's your life. Is this okay with you, my evening plans? Home alone with no parental supervision? Does that make me an official latchkey kid? Honey, I'm sorry. I really didn't think you'd mind. There's plenty of choices for dinner. The fridge is full. Oh, will you do me a favor and eat whatever's on the verge of spoiling? I love you, too. Right on time. Uh, hi. hi. Come on hi. in. You've met my daughter, Sarah. Hi. I hope this won't be an awkward situation for you. <laughs> my whole life's been an awkward situation. I've learned to deal. 
I won't be late. Goodbye. The invention of the doorbell slips so totally by you? How'd you guys get in? Please, every kid in Pinecrest knows at least 50 secret ways to get in this place. Lancaster House was like a rite of passage. See how brave you were. Or how stupid. Not if you know the legend. Oh, that. Burned at the stake, town curse. Next. And so what happened before that night that's the real story? It's how they discovered she was a witch. See, she was all hot for this guy who didn't even know she existed. And she couldn't handle that. Her mind snapped. Because of the guy? He was really, really cute. So she gets committed to this mental institution. Padded walls, straight jacket. I get the picture. Anyway, while she's in there, the guy gets set to marry the finest lady in Pinecrest. I mean, we're talking blonde, beautiful. She had read it. Whatever. Anyway, night before the wedding, this girl, guy's fiance, she hears this whisper in the night. I've been waiting for you. Now, it's dark, and she doesn't know where it's coming from, so she yells out for her mom. Mom! No answer. Old man? Nothing. Actually, it was her father, then her mother. But she hears it again. I've been waiting for you. So she gets out of bed. Go check out the house. And when she gets to the living room, she sees her future husband sitting in the dark, not moving. Not saying a word. So, she moves in closer and sees that he's been slashed to ribbons and left to bleed to death. Actually, he was dead already. Does it matter? The point is, she's so scared, she can't even scream. And she hears the voice again. I've been waiting for you. Runs upstairs to her parents' room, same story, blood everywhere, and the killer is still out there somewhere. So, she heads for her room. Shaking like crazy, locks the door, and as she passes near her bed... Witch's hand <laughs> comes up from under it, grabs her, pulls her down with these long, sharp claws, cuts her head clean off. The cops swarm all over the place the next day, but there's no sign of the witch. So where was she? Still locked up in the institution. Doctors say she never left. But she's rocking back and forth, and she's laughing about something. So they undo her straitjacket, and they find they are caked with fresh blood. There's so many holes in this story, I don't even know where to begin. <clears throat> like? Like, like after all this, they just released her to come home? She escaped. This is where they found her and burned her that night. And now it has been exactly 300 years since the curse. So what's this to you? We're part of the Descendants Club. If anyone's gonna bite it, it's us five. It's our century. Hmm, yeah, you see, the, the curse is really specific. This generation pays for the sins of that generation. It's kind of kind of Shakespearean, don't you think? Me, Eric, Debbie, Kevin, and Misty. 
Oh, and there's one thing we haven't told you. The witch, the one who's supposed to come back this year, her name was Sarah. <laughs> so what? Like, I'm the witch? You tell us. Come to think of it, she had a cat, too. Big black one, just like yours. Look, I'm tired. Party's over. Oh, whoa! Speaking of party, I am having one, and uh, we'd like to invite you as the official guest of honor. <laughs> what, so you and your descendants club can burn me at the stake and roast marshmallows by the fire? No, we want you to tell fortunes. Oh, you got to be kidding. No, come on. Come on. I've got it all wired. I broke into the school records. I've got dirt on everybody. Our parents must be so proud. <laughs> Look, why me? Why not Debbie or Misty or someone? Well, well, that's the beauty part. You see, you're new to this town. You don't know anybody, so their heads will spin at anything you tell them. It's going to be great. Come on. What do you say? You going to help us out? You going to play the game? <clears throat> wire down here and uh, then take this microphone and, and put it in your... <laughs> I know. I saw Mission Impossible. Right. Hmm. I should go to the bathroom. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. I hate parties. Well, you're going to love this one. I don't know anyone. You know me.
What was that? They don't do that in L.A. <laughs> Not like that. Not to me. Well, it's about time. Besides, you're beautiful. Hey, where you guys been? Oh, making out, lip locking, tongue wrestling, you know, the usual. Yeah. Very funny. Nice outfit. So when someone comes in, you ask their name, then repeat it. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Just listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. You got it? Not exactly brain surgery. Cool. Testing, ah. one, two. <sighs> Not so loud. Sorry. You'll be great. Good luck. Note to self, get a real life. Oh, hey! Where are you going? I'm going to get my fortune to Ah, hey, spud boy. I'll tell you your fortune. Yeah, get lost, Charlie. Fortunes are for people with futures. <laughs> So, what do I do? Do I just uh, <coughs> sit here or <clears throat> do a trance thing or what? State your name. Kevin Lane. Tell him you see him in a dark place. What? I mean, what? Oh, great spirits. I see you. Younger. It's a very dark, very tight place. How old? Seven. It's cold. Very frightened. No way. Nobody knows this. The spirits know everything. He's in a cave. You're trapped in a cave? Yeah. Yeah, the old roof caved in. Dirt and rocks. I couldn't breathe. You didn't think you'd get out? I thought, uh, I thought I was gonna die. I still have this fear of uh, claustrophobia. I can't even be in tight places. They totally freak me out. Sometimes you dream about it. <clears throat> okay, that's enough. <clears throat> Tell me something about my future. Am I gonna get a scholarship to state or what? No. <laughs> okay, so what's going on now? Shh. Someone else is in the room. <laughs> what would you like to ask the spirits? I don't know. Um, what would you say the chances of um, you going out with me? Hmm? I'm afraid the spirits can't answer that question. Tell him he's a twisted little dweeb. You are a thoughtful and sensitive young man. In sixth grade, he actually wet his pants in class. You're a water sign, aren't you? I'm Aquarius. Then you should be careful of fire. Fire? Fire? Yeah. And smoke. She's not telling him anything. This is boring. Let's go. I'm over this. I'm just gonna give her the answers. Let her fly by the seat of her broomstick. <laughs> Aw, that's not a happy face. You missed a spot. <laughs> Good luck, Dad. You don't need it. Hello, Kira. Come in spirit world. The name's Debbie. Not Kira. And you might as well know I don't believe in all this. So do your worst. <laughs> well, you have a love. <laughs> like the whole school doesn't know about Kevin. I mean, 
another love. What do you know about that? The spirits know everything. Well, it's over. It was just that one time. They really know everything? Does Kira know? That you slept with... With Eric, does she know? Not a word. I swear, if you tell anybody. It stays between me and the spirit world. I damn well better. Come to us in cauldron dark. Grant to us thy wisdom spark. Transform, transmute, and ring us in. Tis the hour to begin. Power now to us reveal of the turning of the wheel. Look, you don't have to tell me anything. Nothing at all. Spirits, speak. Your mother, she's in danger. What? Yes. She's fallen, but not really. Your mother's in a hospital. She told the doctor she fell, but she didn't. My father hit her, okay? Something's gonna happen. Tonight? Yes. Oh my god, she's alone. Look, I'm sorry. This is all a game, a party trick. No, no, nobody could have known that, okay? Where did you really come from? What are you doing here? Look, I can explain. Get out of my thoughts. Just stay away from me, you bitch. doesn't make any sense. I mean, we all saw Misty leave the party, right? Cops are asking if she was uh, doing drugs, drinking. I don't understand how she could die without a mark on her. Carbon monoxide poisoning? Oh, the windows were blowing in. There were scratches on the car. She was scared to death. One down, four to go. You think Sarah had something to do with it? Maybe not directly. But it was still her fault. How do you figure? Whatever she told Misty made her so upset she ran right for a car. She was totally on with me. She had to know we have to talk. Look, Misty is dead, and everybody's looking at me like I made it happen. What did you say to her? I only told her what you told me to tell her. You have to tell them about the game. Look, Sarah, I didn't say a word about Misty. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. I heard your voice. If you heard a voice, it must have been a voice in your head. After Kevin and Charlie left the party, Kira was out there. Really, what's going on here? Damn it, I know what I heard. Miss Zoltane, do you have a problem with this drill? 
I can't swim, okay? I never even learned the basics. I mean, could I do like a paper on Greg Louganis or something instead? We thought you California types were all hang ten and hot tubs. Please, Miss Elting. See me after class and we'll try and work something out. Okay, Sarah, mental reboot. This is a growth experience. Everyone should know how to swim. Come in handy later in life. Assuming there is a later in life. I've come to Massachusetts to learn this. Resulting? Test. And you failed big time. You sank like a stone, witch woman. That's not how it works. The rules of witches. Hey, 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 come on. <sighs> Sorry. I could have killed her. What are you saying? We need to talk. We do? Now who's psychic? I don't have to be psychic to know that there's something bothering my daughter. Look, some of the kids are blaming me. They're saying that Misty was all upset because of that party game that Eric talked me into. Oh, honey, you had nothing to do with that. I know that. I don't think you do. I think you're buying into this. Hey, look, sit down. Sit down, sweetheart. The fact is, come on. The fact is... Terrible things happen to people. It seems to be human nature to try to assign blame. But... Because my name is Sarah and I fit their witch profile. Sarah, that was the witch's name. What are the odds, right? It's ridiculous. Connie, what have we always said when we have a problem? Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, I know. Take the beef to the boss. Do you want me to talk to their parents? No, Mom, don't, please. That'll just make things worse. I know how I have to deal with this. It's cold. But then I like the cold. Are you here for Eric? Yeah, but um, I... He's home. It's okay. I'm his mom. You must be Sarah Zoltane. I know the rest are his friends. Process of elimination, I guess. The whole town's talking about you. You're just what we expected.
Hey, Sarah. What are you doing here? I need your help. Let's see. She needs help, Eric. So help her, okay? Look, this isn't easy for me. I mean, I don't, I don't open up a lot. I don't trust people. But it feels like you're the only one who's even a little bit on my side. Yeah, well, I, I admit it was my fault getting you into this whole psychic thing. Who knew where it was going, huh? Kira did. Whether she admits it or not, she fed me those lines. She was with me. They didn't just pop out of my imagination. Are you sure? Come to join our study group. There's a rumor. There is a crowd. Look, I'm sorry, I thought. I didn't know. What? That Kira would be here? Sorry to disappoint you. I, I wish I could help, but, uh... So that's it? You too? You really think some 300-year-old crone has crept into my body while I'm sleeping or something to set up this Descendants Club of yours for the kill? Is that what you really think? Sorry I even tried. She's one creepy female. Kira, shut up. Miss Thompson, Miss Murdoch, can I have a moment of your time, please? Is this like something serious? You won't need an attorney present if that's what you're worried about. So she could come to the scene of the crime. I think it's time for revenge. What if they're asleep? Too early. Besides, I called twice. Nobody's home. Skulls, black candles, fear of water, human skulls. Just check out the night table. Hey, look at this. It's a book of witches' spells. There's a love potion in here. Be careful she didn't use that on you, Eric. Uh, hey, guys. Check this out. Oh, what's that thing? Spirit board. Yeah. Use it for talking to dead guys. Or like an email to Elvis. Maybe this will tell us what we need to know. Well, what's supposed to happen? It's supposed to move, spell things out. Well, I think we all know what the question is. Is Sarah a witch?
hell are you doing? I don't know. seven plagues of Egypt. But there's only been two of them. So far. And I don't think one of the plagues was being scared to death. The fire? There's only been two of them. So far. And I don't think one of the plagues was being scared to death. The fire? That was Sarah's prediction for Charlie at the party. It all comes back to Sarah, doesn't it? Charlie? Can't talk now, late for class. You've got time. So they find out what happened. The fire marshal said it was an accident, but I can tell you it happened last night. Someone was there. Oh, come on, you're not someone's a witch kick. Besides, isn't it the Descendants Club she's supposed to be after? The Legendary Five? I told you I'm from New York, right? Well, my great grandparents were from here, from Pinecrest. Right, well, my great great grandfather lit the match on the bonfire that night. So you're a descendant too? But that makes it six, and if the legend's true... Then someone in the group doesn't belong. Something doesn't add up. Literally. Charlie, don't you start avoiding me too. I can't help it, Sarah. I'm scared. I, I admit it, okay? I'm really, really scared. check on dinner tonight what's the matter I don't know it's just the idea of someone out there terrorizing these kids the way their ancestors terrorized that innocent girl that night well it doesn't make it right it doesn't make any of this right I hate violence but I understand that nature seems to want to find a balance wrongs need to be righted oh, an eye for an eye yes and I feel awful about that I mean, even their parents don't seem to care but I've got we've got to make a stand what are you saying? 
I'm just trying to put things into perspective, is all. Oh, you mean like us against them? No, no, no. Rosemary, listen to me. That's not what I meant. All I wanted was to have a quiet evening alone with you. I'm sorry. Could you just please take me home? Mom? this research, but it's so complicated. So many names, so many tangled family trees. I need someone who knows this town. Someone I can trust, someone who might see a connection I'd pass right over. Sorry, nobody comes to mind. I'm running hot and cold lately. Are you with me or not? What's up? Look, I've already played the starring role in Backdraft. Uh, maybe that's it for me. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep a low profile and hope this whole thing just goes away? Well, you have a better plan? Wake up, Charlie. It isn't just gonna go away. Not until we make it go away, you and me. Everyone else is just too afraid to do anything. Look, Sarah, I can't be a part of it anymore, right? Fine. But what if the fire wasn't enough? What if this witch or whoever isn't satisfied until everyone's six feet under? Including you. Look, I didn't say it was a perfect plan, but yeah, that about covers it. Well, I obviously had you mistaken for someone I could count on. Look, I'm sorry about freaking out in there. One thing's for sure, we can eliminate Eric because he saw the witch. <laughs> At least in the dark with his eyes wide shut. Yeah, well, he saw something. Yeah, well, Misty saw something too. Of course, I'm guessing on that one. Look, Sarah, I know you didn't have anything to do with the fire. It's just some freaky coincidence. But somebody out there is bad news. Yeah, it's not some supernatural creature. It's some freak in a mask. Could it be Kevin? I mean, could he pull this off? Sarah, come on. Kevin is lucky if he can pull his own socks off. <laughs> What about Debbie or Kira? Highly unlikely. Well, it's always the most unlikely ones who fooled them all. Well, why would Kira try to cut up Eric? Well, I don't know, maybe if you dated him, you wouldn't have to ask. Did that sound sarcastic? No, that's okay. Damn, and then it sounds sarcastic. <laughs> Look, you're not helping, okay? <laughs> well, I think we should face it. I mean, if any of us has a motive for picking off those guys, it's, uh, no, it's me. Well, think about it. I mean, those guys beat me up every single week in grade school. And they put snakes in my backpack and ants in my gym shorts. I'm the obvious choice. Which makes you definitely not the killer. Except that makes me the most obvious choice again. Because I'm the least obvious choice. Because I'm the most obvious choice. Well, you know what I mean. So, are you the witch? No. Would you tell me if you are? No. Garlic, you morons, it's for vampires. Well, you don't believe me? Ask Buffy. Doesn't anybody in school watch television? A little early for 
trick or treat, isn't it? Apparently not. I am so sorry about this. I tried talking to Kira and Debbie. Well, this is their idea of help. You think this is their work? Sarah, just because you're running into some adjustment problems, does this mean the whole world? Adjustment problems? Not getting picked for the prom committee. That's an adjustment problem. But being accused of stalking and murder and witchcraft? Not to mention the suggestion that I would hop into the nearest fireplace. Somehow, I think this is a little more complicated. I'm telling you, it had to be a guy. You don't think a girl can fight dirty when she's pushed too far? There's no way it could be Sarah. Please, she could be pumped up on steroids for all we know. Look, all I know is, that thing is strong. Where's Kevin? He was supposed to meet us here after practice for a burger run. He's on the field or in the locker room or something. Coach wanted to talk to him. Kev's mind hasn't exactly been on the game lately. No, duh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Like you really care. You won't be happy until we're all dead. Kira, cool it. Whose side are you on, anyway? Listen to him, Kira. And don't push me. It's been a long day, and I'm way too tired for this. <laughs> Give us all a huge break. You are just so totally transparent. OK, I've had it. You know, you better be careful, because we all know how this curse works. You're the chosen group, Generation X, EX, as in ex-humans, soon to be formerly amongst the living. And if I am a witch, then making that happen becomes my job description. And maybe just the right word to the right best friend would be all it would take. Isn't that right, Debbie? What was she talking about? What does she know? How to make my skin crawl. Let's take a rain check on the burger, okay? You still here? Hey, it's taking you so long. Hey, Kev, you in there? Don't play. 
play games now. I didn't tell Sarah about you and me if that's what you want to talk about. She psyched it out. And I won't tell Kira. person you expected to see or wanted to see. No. No, it's okay. Come on in. What's all this? You doing your family tree? Look, Sarah, this is... This whole thing's gotten way out of hand. I mean, I know this witch thing doesn't have anything to do with you, and uh, I uh, just want to say that I'm really sorry that, for everything that we've done to you. Well, thanks. But I think I found something I think we should take a look at. I'm worried about you, Sarah. We can see that I'm still standing. I, <clears throat> I don't think you realize you're different. And uh, Pinecrest doesn't exactly like new or different. So, short of moving to Siberia for winter quarter? No, I'm not, I'm not saying I want you to move. Different isn't necessarily a bad thing. Look, uh, can we... Uh, can we uh, go somewhere else to talk? You know, uh, neutral territory, this place has got a lot of history for me. I'm sure Kira would love that. We're through. I, I, I told her it's cool. So, coffee? Herbal tea? And anything you want? No talk of descendants clubs or witches or anything? I promise. It's a big world, remember? It's gotta be something we have in common. Kids getting away with murder day after day without any idea that their actions have any consequences. Yeah, I know, but they're good kids, Ted. They're just thoughtless. But they're young, you know, and they're still learning. They're learning because we teach them. You and I. Some lessons are harder to learn than others. 
Yeah, well, you know, it's late and I'm really tired. I, I don't know what gets into me. Um, sometimes I, I, I talk before I think, and now you're upset, and I, no, I don't want to. I'm not upset. I'm not upset, really. I'm just tired, and I'm worried about Sarah. Can I call you? Like that? Uh, Ted, maybe it wouldn't be such a good idea. Okay. No, really, I, until things get straightened out, I really feel like Sarah needs me at home. Mm, okay. Right. What in the world is this? <laughs> Gave a student a ride home the other day. It's probably some shop class project. Careful. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. And someone has to pay. What's the next test? Birthmark shaped like a crescent moon. Don't forget the bookstore fire, okay? Do you know Charlie's a descendant of the original five? Do you know that? Charlie. Yeah, all right, you're kidding. He told me. There are only five of us. There's always only been five of us. Well, which is what? They confuse you. Try to twist your thoughts. Hey, 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 the birthmark. It's not shaped like a moon. Uh, she could have had a change. Will you just listen? I checked your family trees, okay? Charlie had a great grandmother named Margaret Spencer. Does that ring a bell, Debbie? Your great aunt? Oh my god. You mean Charlie and I are related? So there's six of us instead of five. So what, more for her to kill? <laughs> Class joke? What's your point? <laughs> Just think what's happened, Eric. Come on, think. You, Misty, Kevin, Debbie. Charlie's fire, everybody. <laughs> Everyone except for Kira. He's right. How come you got off without a scratch? Don't you see what she's doing? Is it true, Kira? Stop it, you guys! It's not Kira, okay? The point is, your ancestors weren't the only ones who had descendants. Sarah Lancaster had a family, too. An older sister named Hannah who knew how to hold a grudge and pass it along. Sarah's older sister married a man named Virgil Rankin. I found a direct line from the old Sarah to Ted Rankin. Mr. R? The history teacher, you expect us to believe he's behind all this? to Ted Rankin. Mr. R? The history teacher, you expect us to believe he's behind all this? We had a kid who disappeared. Uh, can we get a reality check on table three? Sorry, Sarah. What's next? Uh, if you cut a witch, her blood won't run. But cut her! Come <laughs> on. 
You try being a bastard son! Your parents drove my mother out of here! Ask them all! It's all your fault. Blame yourselves. Well, what is he talking about? Tell him, Sarah. How the sins of our fathers are visited on the children. Ted? Ted Rankin's your father? Was well, my father. That's disgusting! How did you make this? Middle shop. A month has passed since that awful night. The tangled web of secrets that Charlie kept hidden all those years finally took its toll. As a pregnant, scared teenager, Charlie's mother was run out of town by the same hypocrisy that burned a witch 300 years before. We'll never know if Ted Rankin really was Charlie's father because he mysteriously disappeared from Pinecrest that night. Odd. Maybe. But not to me. You see, I knew all along that Charlie was right. There were six descendants. As for Sarah Lancaster, some legends never die. She did come back. Because a promise is a promise. Six descendants in a row. Generations yet to know. Powers cast their fiery glow. Secrets only witches know. Two down?